Hi everybody, this is a spontaneous live stream, but possibly the most important live stream message that I have shared to date as I get clearer in my life about our higher purpose and uh, how to live from our higher selves. Um, I'm excited to share that with you, with you all. <clears throat> so um, if you've been following me, you'll know that I have just recently launched something called Rise Up Monthly Momentum. It's a group coaching program because uh, in my heart, that's what I really love to do is support groups as well as individuals. But there's something really magical about that group uh, uh, energy and that community support. So um, that's starting in January. And I realized that as, as a complement to that, there's a 10-step program called Rise Up, and that's to help you to um, achieve your dreams, basically, get really clear about your vision, and it's a, a structure to help you to get to where you want to go with uh, a 10-step process, and that's something that you receive as a self-study. But I realized that there was one important element that was missing from that. Obviously, I'll be sharing you know, a lot more in the weekly calls during the Rise Up uh, Monthly Momentum uh, group coaching calls. But this is something that's really fundamental. So I'm uh, going to share this as lesson zero. <laughs> the very, very first thing you need to do before you even, before you ever launch into that 10 step process to uh, really go all in on achieving your vision and you know what our whole life we have there's always going to be another vision another vision and the important thing is also enjoying the journey and honoring uh, what you feel called to do i truly believe i know that if there is an urge inside you to um, achieve something then it's there for a reason so trust it trust it that is your higher self calling uh your higher self calling you, but I wanted to say that your higher self talking. Okay, so just before I uh, launch into um, this topic of why it's absolutely essential to surrender and accept in order to, as, as a very initial step, um, I just want to see if I can, yep, yeah, I can share this over to my um, personal page. Wrong timeline. Okay, just bear with me for a second. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so here's why it's so important to surrender and accept why they're a necessary precursor to creating the life you want. Basically, the way that I work, the way that I know that um, the way that I know for me works in life and I think for many others and I feel very passionate about sharing is that there is a magic in life that we're not tapping into as a human race. There's a magic. Synchronicities, you know, those situations where you go, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. Well, that's because there is, um, there is a higher power that's governing everything and underlying everything. And when we choose to trust that, um, and that includes surrendering and accepting where we are. We get into this alignment, we get into this flow, and from there, it's much easier. We're not in a, we're not in a state of resistance. We're working with life, we're working with God. And from there, in that softness, that's where magic happens. And if we're resisting what's happening for us and and i do get that believe me i've been there there's times where you say okay i know i should accept this but this is just too hard to accept i get that i get that and i invite you to lean into it anyway and to deeply deeply trust and let that be your very very first work to f i won't say figure out but just patiently um open up to trusting in whatever is going on in your life right now. That doesn't mean, I think the great fear that the human mind has is, oh, if I trust it, then I won't be able to change it. And that's not true at all. Like I said, in order to get into that alignment where the magic happens, where the synchronicities happen, you know, it's really kind of like getting on a motorway, a highway, a freeway, you know, you're, dri you're driving these country roads, but if you want to take the 
fast route where you can glide along. Um, maybe that's not such a good example because the scenic route is always beautiful, but you know, where it's with ease, you've got to be um, tuned into that, you know, coming from a place of trust, trusting, trusting that. And also, and this is, um, I've been studying something called the Gene Keys, uh, which I find really, really powerful. And uh, Richard Rudd was talking about th this morning, I was listening to an audio and he was talking about um, when you can, you know, he was talking about being grateful for everything in your life. And it's so easy to be grateful for the things that are working. But our real work also is to be grateful, grateful for the things that appear to not be working in our lives. The things that appear to be um, not part of our journey. If we can find gratitude for those, and I don't remember the exact words that Richard Rudd used, but it, it was around, you know, transforming them into gold. That if you can manage to find gratitude for your deepest, darkest struggles, the things that you're finding really challenging in your life, if you can find gratitude for those things, if you're in a state of gratitude, you're in a state of trust. And from there, if you can find gra gratitude for those things, that's where the magic starts to really happen. So that's why it's, I say it's a necessary precursor. I mean, there is the other way of forcing and pushing and, you know, believing that you're on your own to get to where you want to go. But if you open up to the forces outside of you, those magical forces, I'm not losing the plot. I mean, we all know about synchronicities. There's just, uh, there's no denying that there's things in this world where, you know, you think, gosh, I was just thinking about that person and then they appeared, for example. That's a simple example of it. But if you want to tap into that more and more and harness the power of um, magic, then your very first step has to be leaning into surrendering and accepting what's going on now, trusting that it's part of your journey. And it doesn't mean that your journey, your vision, whatever it is you want to achieve, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Maybe through accepting and surrendering to what's going on now, and the magic will from there, from there will, um, will, will bring your vision to fruition. And sometimes, um, you know, your vision might change. You might realize in that acceptance and surrender, it's like, wow, actually what really lights me up is dot, dot, dot. But you'll only get that clarity from a place of softness, patience, trusting, not from a pushing place like that. So um, I really invite you to try that because for me, when I'm in that space, it's just, it's a state of grace. It's a state of grace and um, it's a much easier place, and that's where I choose to spend the rest of my life, basically, <laughs> and beyond. And of course, I know I'm going to get kicked out of that space many times, you know, with challenges in life. But um, that's, for me, the truth is that as far as possible, when we can be in that space of surrender, acceptance, but also playfulness, joy, laughter, and lightness you know it's not all oh let's surrender and be really serious and heavy it's not a heavy energy it's it's a lightness and also um optimism trust and just knowing and trusting that by uh, allowing and accepting whatever is going on for you that oh there's gold coming from this you know i'm, I'm turning it into gold <laughs> um you'll never turn it into gold if you're um, saying this should not be happening this should not be happening it's true that, you know, um, that anger energy can, can help you to shift out of it. I, I do get that. Um, but it's a very uh, challenging, tiring uh, way to, to do it. How about instead um, opening up to the magic that is there to support you in this world and to synchronicity? And you'll only access that through uh, a softness. And that comes from surrender acceptance and gratitude and trust and trust trust in where you're at now and faith in your vision and um then magic starts to happen and things start to appear in your life and then suddenly ah you're there <laughs> so um i hope that resonates i'd love you to practice that maybe there might be a confusion around, well, how do I accept? How do I surrender? So let me take a simple example. Um, 
Okay, let's say that you're physically challenged, that you have this vision and you're feeling, I, I can't achieve that because I have some uh, physical setbacks, an illness. Um, trusting that it's there for a reason and working with it rather than against it and maybe asking yourself, how can I use this for the greater good? Of the world not just for me and that's another thing as well to look outside of ourselves uh, to the the greater collective rather than just being me focused you know like how you know I'm trusting that this is here for a reason that this is happening for a reason and that um, I'm gonna be using this uh, for uh, for for good for a good cause choosing that and just noticing oh does that bring uh, a softer energy to it rather than, um, you know, just, and obviously I, I do get that, you know, if, if it is physical pain, for example, just being so tired and fed up with it. But um, in those moments where possible to just say, I'm not God to know why this is happening for me, but I choose to trust that it's happening for me and for the greater good. Hope that helps. Um, message me if you want any further clarification on this. And of course, if you join the Rise Up Monthly Momentum, my group coaching program, then I'll be talking about that a lot more. So I will put the link below and I'd love to see you for the January round of RUM. It's called the January RUM, RUM, or you M M Rise Up Monthly Momentum. So, and this is the first lesson. It's an invitation to accept, surrender, embrace with gratitude. Hope that helps.